Yo, what's going on people? It's your boy 8 Pancho, back at you again with another video. This next story that I'm about to get into happened in Croydon in 2017, and how three years later, on the exact day, the man who committed the crime was brought to justice. A prolific burglar who murdered an elderly woman in her own home was sentenced to life in prison. Aaron Fayo, aged 29, born 18th for the 10th 1990, of no fixed address, was convicted of the murder of Yuling Hastings, a 74-year-old retired nurse, following a trial at the Old Bailey on Thursday 19th for the December. On Friday 10th of January, exactly three years after the incident had taken place, at the same court, he was sentenced to serve 31 years in prison. The court had heard how on the 10th of January 2017, a neighbour had noticed smoke coming from Miss Hastings' home in Birchinger Road, SE25. The neighbour called London Fire Brigade at 3.15pm and on arrival, they forced entry through the locked front door. Miss Hastings was found lying in the hallway and London Fire Brigade immediately removed her from the premises and began first aid. London Fire Brigade also extinguished the fire which was centred on the area of the staircase. London Ambulance Service and London's air ambulance attended, but Miss Hastings was unfortunately pronounced dead at the scene. After extinguishing the flames, firefighters noticed the house was showing signs of having been burgled. Police attended and found that Yulene's bedroom had been ransacked and other rooms had been subjected to an untidy search. In the living room, a coffee table had been smashed and a knife was found on the floor. The house appeared to have been entered by someone who had broken the glass on the rear French doors with a stone or rock, and the doors were open by a key that had been left in the lock. Post-mortem examination took place on the 11th of January a day later and it was noted that although Miss Hastings had burns to her body, there was no evidence to indicate that she had been breathing when the fire started. In fact, the cause of death was found to be traumatic head injury. It's said that Aaron Fayo had beaten her to death with the leg of a coffee table and the number of injuries indicated the wounds had not been sustained in a simple fall. It was the opinion of a pathologist that the injuries had been inflicted on Miss Hastings during the course of an assault. The theory from police is that he tried to enter the property to steal a jewellery box. As he was stealing the jewellery box, he was confronted by Miss Hastings, where he had then beaten her with the leg of a coffee table and then used napkins to set fire to her, subsequently setting fire to the house. And on the same day, shortly after the murder had been discovered, a burglary was reported in nearby Davidson Road, SC25. The female occupant was at home when she saw a burglar forcing entry into the rear of her home. She fled the house with a young child and called police. Police were patrolling locally and officers were on the scene within six minutes. This guy must have some balls right to burgle somebody's house, assault them, murder them, set fire to the house, and then literally not too far commit another burglary. And this is all happening in broad daylight. And the fact that this guy's just murdered an old lady, who knows what he'd have done to this young child and his mother. When the police arrived, the burglar who was armed with the knife was pursued by officers across rooftops and through gardens. The officers closed in on the armed suspect who made his way onto a conservatory roof. It was then said that Aaron Fayo had a five hour standoff on a roof with police officers. The suspect was seen to destroy his mobile phone and only after the intervention of a trained negotiator did he surrender himself where he was subsequently arrested by police for the burglary at Davidson Road. He gave a false name but was later identified as Aaron File. When he was eventually arrested on suspicion of killing Mrs. Hastings, File is alleged to have said to officers, murder, where has that come from? The following day he had said to a policeman, I've got nothing to do with the murder and nothing to do with breaking into that house. Burglary is one thing, murder is another. Because of the proximity of Davidson Road and Birchinger Road, Aaron Fayo immediately became of interest to the investigation into the death of Miss Hastings. He was then further arrested on suspicion of the murder of Yudin Hastings, and a full investigation was launched by homicide detectives from Specialist Crime South. The detectives were able to locate CCTV that showed Fayo walking in the direction of Birchinger Road around 1.30pm and walking away from Birchinger Road at around 2.45pm. Later CCTV then placed Fayo at Davidson Road at around 3.07pm where he'd been seen by the occupier to have forced entry into the premises. The mobile phone that Fyle had attempted to destroy was also recovered and it had indicated that it had been in the area of Birchinger Road around the same time the fire started. DNA evidence from Fyle was recovered from underneath Miss Hastings' fingernails and her DNA was found on the jacket Fyle was wearing when he was arrested. With that, he also had 19 previous convictions for burglary with a third of 92 offences. In those burglaries, a stone had been used to enter certain properties. As a result of the evidence, Fayo, who had been remanded to prison for other burglary offences, was charged on the 8th of August 2018 with the murder and one count of burglary.
File had claimed he thought he was being attacked by a demon, describing it as a half-man, half-goat. File had denied the murder of Miss Hastings, but his mental health defence had failed to convince the jury at his old Bailey trial. Again, after refusing his claims of mental illness, Judge Mark LeCraft QC had jailed him for life with a minimum term of 31 years, with sentences for the other offences to run concurrently, and this happened exactly three years after the offence had taken place on the 10th of January 2020. The judge noted File's previous convictions and told him that burglary had been his way of life for many years. He said, In this case, I have no doubt that Yuling did disturb you while you were in the process of a burglary, and that you picked up a coffee table close to you, and then hit Yuling with the coffee table with great force. Detective Chief Inspector Richard Lennon of Special Crime Homicide said, Yuling Hastings was a retired nurse, well-liked in the community, and an active member of the church. Her life had spent looking after others, and it is tragic that such a caring person should have been murdered in her own home, a place where she should have been safe. In contrast, file is a serial offender with a horrendous criminal record. This predator roamed the streets browsing for homes to identify targets. He was a prolific offender and after committing an offence would carry on roaming the streets looking for the next target to burgle. I have no doubt he burgled this poor woman's home, fatally assaulted her and then set her home on fire to cover up his actions. Fire had shown no remorse whatsoever and I'm thankful that he's been convicted and the long sentence is fully justified. And that's the story of Yuling Hastings and I just want to take this time out just to say rest in peace to Yuling and my thoughts are condolences go out to anybody who's been affected by the situation. I know her family were deeply saddened by this and my thoughts are with them right now. And it's very interesting that how exactly three years later he was put into jail on the exact date. It's like justice was served on the exact date and it's just a sad situation overall. An old lady has lost her life. She's put a lot of work in over the years to get where she is and for her life to be taken away just because somebody wants to burgle a house is really sad to be honest. And, and the thing about it is she probably didn't even put up a fight to be honest honest you know like she probably just seen him and he didn't want to get caught so he decided to attack her and kill her but you know he has this long history of these offenses of burglaries and other offenses and he's never really been brought to justice for it and it's just sad that she's had to lose her life in order for him to get this lengthy prison sentence now i know times get hard and people have to do crazy things but going out there and killing someone and then having the cheek to go and do it again after you've literally just killed someone is absolutely baffling to me now who knows he might have actually been mentally ill because that's some crazy stuff to literally go and kill someone and bag all their house and then go and attempt to do it again when there's a child and a woman there you have to be cold-hearted very cold-hearted or you have to be mentally ill to be doing something like that but yeah just once again i just want to say rest in peace to yuling my thoughts and condolences go out to anybody who's been affected by the situation but let me know what you guys think of this in the comment section below give the video a little like if you want the latest drill music and street news out of the uk be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Spinny boy, a poncho, and I'm